Good evening from wherever you are watching. My name is David Muthoka and I'm coming live from the Kenyatta International Convention Center where tonight the much awaited 13th edition of the Kalasha International Film and TV Awards will be taking place. And uh, for the past few hours we've seen a number of actors, actresses, filmmakers and film uh, lovers streaming uh, just uh, to uh, dress and be in attendance as these awards take place. And I'm joined by my senior colleague here, uh, none other than Steven Simwendo. Uh, you've been here for quite some time. Uh, you've seen uh, the actors streaming and all signs tell that these awards will be taking place uh, any time from now, isn't it? Correct. Well, Kalasha is uh, always the biggest film event in the country. Actually, I think in East Africa, this is the biggest film event that we have. And this year, what is different is that we have the Kalasha TV and film market uh, putting together the entire one week of events where we have seen uh, stakeholders in the industry exhibit but now tonight is a grand finale, I would just call it grand finale, where we have the biggest stars in the film industry getting awarded. We have a number of categories, and like you've said, we have seen them streaming in, in numbers, in color, the red carpet was all looking so good and glam, and we just wanted to see who wins tonight. Of course, uh, we've seen a number of the actors, we've seen even officials from the Kenya Film Commission here, of course, who are the organizers of this event. This, I understand, is the 13th edition, and I'm told it's going to be really big. The competition here is stiff. And you've mentioned categories. Uh, we have 39 in number, 37 uh, competitive ones, uh, two are non-competitive. I understand there are two where uh, the audiences and Kenyans could not vote mm -hmm. and that these awards are going to be given uh, by the commission itself Correct. and that includes the Lifetime Achievement Award as well as the Kituo Halisi Award. Uh, what now looking at the other categories which ones do you think uh, Kenyans and film lovers and the and our audience should be looking out for? Right. Um, I, I, I think all the categories carry different shapes and powers um, because this is the coming together of a film itself where you have guys who do uh, cinematography in terms of the best lighting, the best director, you have the best actor, the best lead actor. And you know what? For me, it's always been the best lead actor. And, and in the list we have um, Blessed Lungao, that's quite a big name. And Blessed Lungao is coming here for Ingiza. We have Jimmy Gadu, big name again in the industry, coming with Kina and a number of guys there for the lead actor. When you go to the lead actress, another big one that everybody also has, always looks at, uh, we have people like Sanai Vaitande, we have people like uh, Sarah Hassan, we have people like Faith uh, Kibati, and many others who are there. For me, those two categories will always carry the biggest weight in these events. Of course, uh, others to look out for includes the best TV show, as well as the best TV drama, uh, of course, there are some shows that uh, Kenyans have been following up quite closely, including shows such as The Real Housewives of Nairobi, Single Kiasi, and uh, the producers as well as the actors will be hoping to be back in these awards. I also hear there will be cash awards, perhaps. What have you heard? There will be cash awards. Actually, this began last year when the government said we don't just have winners and getting trophies, the Kalacha Trophy. We have uh, uh, real prizes. Last year, the winners were getting 100,000. I'm told this year is a double of it or even a triple of it. We just see the ministry has been committing itself towards this. KFC has been committing itself towards this. And I know that the winners will go home laughing. If not, go to the bank laughing. <laughs> Hopefully. And most of whom have walked in will be hoping their names will be mentioned. Uh, looking at uh, previous interviews by the CEO of the Kenya Film Commission, he said that there were over 1,500 entries and the judges actually had a hard time sifting through and selecting uh, or, or looking at the nominees who will be making this shortlist. And of course you've mentioned the best lead actor uh, as well as the best lead actress. Uh, there's the other category of the best supporting actor and the best supporting actress. And looking also at some of the names also uh, for the best lead actress in a film yeah. that includes Nice Gidinji, right. Chandra Daisy Apondi, Mwix Mutinda, Maureen Kunga and Linda Sande. 
best lead actress in TV drama. You had mentioned Sanai Pei Tande, uh, musician as well as uh, an actor, an actress rather. Serandanu, Faith Kibati, Ivy Wanjiku, Sarah Hassan. Those are some of the names actually that uh, uh, most of the fans here will be uh, looking out for and perhaps uh, walking home happy with a smile. I've seen you. You've you've dressed to kill. Uh, as well as the actors themselves in taxi doors, in bow ties, uh, the ladies elegant, uh, free flowing dresses. This means that this is a big event. I'm sure you've been to several ones. Uh, would you rank this as among the best? Um, I, I believe this Kalasha is among the best because one, it is the 13th of uh, the Kalasha Awards that we've been having. And looking at the event this day, we have seen that guys are coming through guys are coming through to defend their cause and it, it just shows that the film industry is growing i mean when you mention the number of people who have made entries into the events uh for this year and the judges cv need to uh the 39 categories and uh like four or five in, in, in each category it just shows you that the film industry is growing the tv industry is growing and we have seen all the support coming from every other place uh, uh in the industry and that just basically tells you that the industry is getting somewhere. And if you just see the number of people who are coming here, dressed and determined, just say, we are here to support the film industry in Kenya, you will know this is getting big. We actually have the CEO of the Kenya Film Commission here with us. Uh, thank you so much for being thank here you. and uh, giving us a few minutes to speak to you. Thank if you could just step here and... Just tell us, uh, this is a culmination of a journey and a process that began uh, earlier in the week. And this is actually now the D-Day. Uh, you've been here, you've seen how the event has been. Uh, what are your initial comments and reactions to how uh, this event is shaping up, even heading into the awards later on very in well. the night? To start with, I'm very excited that tonight we are going to celebrate Achievers at Kalasha International Film and TV Awards where we'll be awarding 39 categories with the two special categories. And for me, this is very significant. We have seen the industry grow. Remember, in the year 2009, Kalash Awards started. And from one, today we are counting 13, meaning we have hosted Kalasha Awards for 13 years. So as we gather here at KCC, we are here to celebrate our achievers in the industry. And I'm so excited that this day has come. This one is quite different. I understand uh, there was uh, a festival and a market just in the days uh, leading up to today. Maybe just uh, uh, brief us more on that and, tell, and, and give us more details regarding uh, why you chose not to have a one-day event, but even an, a week event. Very well. That's a very good point. First of all, we must appreciate that film is business. And that's why Kenya Film Commission deliberately decided that we must create a market platform. So we hosted Kalasha Awards, Kalasha Market and Kalasha Festival as one event because we are saying we would like to create an ecosystem where buyers and sellers of content can converge and transact business of film. So the reason as to why we had to make this Kalasha, Kalasha this year as a, an event that will run for almost a week is so that we could give people enough time to connect, transact, and also create opportunities to connect in terms of co-productions. Remember, this year we have participants from United Kingdom, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Germany, and others. And we are growing as we progress because we like to do co-production with these countries. When we do this, we are giving ourselves an opportunity to expand our horizon and also to expand our market so that filmmakers can actually see to it that they can have their content being consumed by a larger market. When that happens, you create wealth in a way that we all appreciate. Just lastly, uh, there were more than 1,500 entries into these awards, and I understand the judges had quite a hard time in sifting through and uh, selecting uh, the nominees who will be making the shortlist now that, that, that we've seen. What does that tell you about the growth of the film industry in the country? Step by step, we are growing. That I can tell you. I've worked in this industry for the past 20 years, and I can attest to it that Kenyans are real storytellers. All that Kenyans are looking for is an opportunity to be enabled to tell stories, and that's what Kenya Film Commission is doing. 
Last year alone, we funded over 22 projects. And with these 22 projects, we were able to create 2,200 jobs with over 400 internship positions. All I'm trying to say is that there is a huge opportunity for us to grow the industry even further than where we are now because everyone, the demand for content is very high and the creators are also yearning to tell more. Just before I let you go, I, I know you've seen the list of the winners. Labda utubia mwa Kenya kidogo. Unfortunately, I have not seen the list of winners yet. I'll see the list of winners just like anybody else. What happens, we have a special jury that has the task of actually adjudicating and getting to know who the winners are. So you and myself will see the winners for the first time tonight. Yes. Okay, thank you so much. That is Timothy Owase, the Chief Executive Officer of KFC, and that is the Kenya Film Commission. Thank you so much for your time. I'll, I'll have to let you go. You. I understand uh, you have other commitments. Of course, that is uh, Owase himself. Uh, just shedding some light on what uh, this event uh, is all about. This is actually big. It is super for the film industry in the country. This is one event that um, every film lover marks in their calendar, just waiting to see. Uh, which film uh, beats the rest, which actor beats the rest, which actress beats the rest, not meaning that uh, uh, those who won't walk home today with the awards uh, uh, did not do something big. Of course, just making it into the shortlist of the nominees is big for them. And so uh, most of the nominees have already arrived. We've seen big names make their way in. They will be hoping uh, to... Uh, take this home. They will be hoping to walk home, uh, smiling to the bank, happy, and of course uh, knowing uh, that they did their best. Of course, uh, this is the 13th edition of the Kalasha Awards. I'll be taking you uh, just before we go in. Of course, we have an, uh, someone here who would like to speak to us. Thank you so much uh, for having time. Uh, um, I know. Now, no, me pick a look, Thank you so much. <laughs> yes. Uh, what do you have to say about these awards? You've been here. You've seen uh, people coming. Uh, this is big. I understand the competition is stiff. What do you have to say about it? It's good. It's good for things to be the way they are right now. Five years ago, we used to pray for standards to be like this. Just five. That's a very small number. So when things to get, when things get to this level, this is amazing. I can't imagine what will be in the next three or five. And then that is one. Two, uh, as someone who's, who's, today I'm actually dishing out an award. And at the same time, I have a couple of my students who have been nominated. So just seeing some of my own students playing at this level, woo, big deal, big deal, man. Yeah, big steps. These are big steps even for them. This is good for their portfolio. It's good for their storytelling. Because in this business with camera and lighting, we're in the business of telling stories so that stories impact lives. So that we can redirect someone to think like this or think like that concerning certain topics. Yeah. I'm sure you've seen the work of your students, as yeah. you, uh, you've you mentioned. Yeah. Are you rooting for them? Do you believe that, of course, they have even much more to offer, yeah. uh, despite even uh, winning or even not maybe winning tonight? Oh, yes, yes. In fact, the project that is here, it's known as God Forbid, actually won two awards in Germany. <laughs> so, so, so I am so optimistic for them. But even if they don't win, it's good placement it's good stories the right eyes have landed on the right stories and secondly is you want the right people to know what you do so in, in such an environment the right people who are in this industry people who are actually people who have a lot of power in the game are in, the, are in this room and so when they see you you won't be new to them next time and that's why i'm so happy for them yeah for the viewers who maybe don't know you introduce yes. yourself oh my name is dj crowbar uh, I uh, I used to work at KTN. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been I used to work at KTN for five years, man. Successful show we did here, known as Tukosa, and it's an honor to be interviewed on this platform, dude. Thank yeah, so man. Much. Ah, thanks, man. Asante. Have a successful night. Okay. Awesome. You too. Yes, yes, that is DJ Crow by himself, just uh, here to support uh, a number of his students, as he says, who've been nominated here, and their work has been nominated. There are much, much more. Uh, we'll be speaking, of course, to more and more nominees here uh, just to tell us what they feel and uh, 
I'm having none other than nice Githinchi, neatly dressed. Hey, come on, okay. come up here. Wow, Hello. you look wonderful. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're here to pick up an award. You look like someone who's here to pick up an award. Listen, it's either the award or I'm the award, either way we are winning. So if you look good, it's good enough sometimes. <laughs> yes, this is the 13th edition of the Kalasha Awards. Of course, uh, it is a journey now that has taken 13 years. And um, we've heard from the CEO say how stiff the competition this year is. Absolutely. Do you believe that is something very good for the film industry? I do think so. You know, sometimes you end up nominated in a category of people and uh, it might feel a little unfair. But lately, especially with the new crop of productions, the series and the movies that have been coming out, the nominees is really tight and uh, I, I can tell that there is stiff competition. I think the jury had their work cut out for them. But then competition is always good. It just means that we're doing something good in the industry, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, some of the filmmakers and some of the actors and the actresses who are here have actually won some awards internationally. And that means that the Kenyan film industry has been making somewhat, someone will say slow, but steady steps in uh, placing not only uh, the country on the map, but also the continent. Yeah. Uh, do you believe that we are headed in the right direction and especially the film industry is making significant steps in uh, placing the country in the global uh, film map? I think generally, creatively, as an industry, we have been making the right steps. We've been moving towards the right direction. But I think what is left now is just for us to work out the back end. And back, back end, I mean our policies, I mean tax business, I mean tax rebates. It's just, we just need to understand the business of film better. Then that will take us to the next level. But as far as performance and the craft, I think we're well, we well there. Yeah. Thank you so much. No and I wish you the very best. Thank you very much. <laughs> Of course, that is a nice Gidinchi right here. Of course, yeah, you can, you, you can just slowly, slowly. <laughs> that is a nice Gidinchi, an actress, legendary actress, actually. And I have also other uh, film lovers, filmmakers, actors, actresses right here. Introduce yourself and uh, tell us what are your expectations today. Uh, my name is Daudi Anguka. I am a film producer from Mombasa. Uh, and. Uh, to expect kuweza uh, kuona different filmmakers ambao wanafanya kazi nzuri wakiwa awarded and main aim ya leo ni kuweza ku celebrate and that's why today we are here and us from Mombasa also tuko hapa tumekuwa nominated we do have 17 nomination my film and main aim ni kuweza ku celebrate hiyo ndio kitu important everyone ambao amefanya kazi ni kuja hapa kuweza ku celebrate na kuweza ku share moments na watu that's 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 what it is yeah how old ni wenzako Hii ni team yangu. Uh, wanaitwa Amen Arabian Men. Na huyu ndo designer wangu anaitwa Bispok. And uh, also I have my team here ambao ni leader wetu Civilizer from Mombasa. So once unafanya kazi lazima uwe na watu support. Na kwa industry yangu sometimes lazima niwe na team ambao wana make sure kwa nafanya hizi project. And that's why I have a team behind me. It's not all about me, it's about the team ambao wako na mimi. Yeah. Asante sana kwa muda wako na tunakutakia kila laheri unapoingia kule ndani. Na bila shaka huyo ni producer au mtayarishaji wa kipindi pale akitueleza tu uh, matarajio yake ya leo and of course there will be more and more uh, film lovers filmmakers speaking to us just as we continue but right now we like to cross over inside at the podium where the actual event is taking place for you to follow it live that's it for now my name is David Mutoka we embark on this journey guided by the glimmering lights of the silver screen my name is free kimani and i'm honored to stand next to this beautiful woman <laughs> and my co-host for the evening claudia yes thank you so much for reed and today we're going to take you guys on a thrilling adventure from drama romance comedy and as we pay homage the individuals who have entertained us through the past year today we celebrate it's a star-studded event all right so as we wait to go inside and see the magic that's going to happen tonight all the nominees all the winners we're going to cut to the red carpet and claudia is going to talk to the who's who of africa's film and television world And we are live from the 13th Kalasha Film and TV Awards, live from KICC. And I'm joined.
joined by the amazing and beautiful Kanye from South Africa. Can you say hi to the Kenyan people? Hello, Kenya Jumbo. <laughs> you got our greeting now. You need to teach me one. How do we say hello in Zulu? Sani Bonani. And how do you respond? Yebo. Yebo. Okay. Sani Bonani. Yebo. Yes. And she's a filmmaker and she was showing her film here at the Kalasha. Now, let, let, tell me more a bit about your film and uh, why you decided to show it in the Kalasha. Thank you very much. So I'm in uh, Kenya as part of a South African delegation that's here. There's about four of us, two filmmakers, an administrator and an animator that we brought here today. I was showing my film called A Woman of Substance and my film is basically a film that honors a very powerful woman, a woman of substance. Her name is Beauty Silila. She was a nurse, she was an activist, she was a community builder. It is a documentary and it had its world premiere right here at the Kalasha Film Festival, meaning that it was filming and now it's ready and it showed in Kenya for the very first time. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's such an honor. Thank you for giving us the exclusive. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Uh, what are you looking forward to tonight? It's an amazing night. So many uh, people have been nominated. I know people are anxious. Is there someone you're specifically rooting for? Well, it's my first time attending these awards. I had a chance to look on the website, the previous winners, the categories, and I know that these are one of the biggest awards in the country. So I'm just looking forward to seeing the best talent being honored here today. I don't know most of the filmmakers, but I know that the people who are going to be honored here today are going to deserve it. Thank you so much, Kanye. You look amazing, as I said. I hope you enjoy the night. Thank you so much. Thank you, too. Now, it's an amazing day. As you can see, it's all glitz and glam. And I'm not the only person who is hosting tonight. There are amazing people hosting. It's an amazing day. And we have so many stars are in the building. I've seen King Kaka. I've seen Avril. Just to mention a few. We have a couple of people, so stay tuned. All right, with me is Patrick and Kenneth from Anger Cinemax. I know you guys know them because every time you want to take someone on a date, that's where you go. That's where we premiere majority of our films. And as people who contribute to the film industry and, of course, the marketing aspect of it, you look good. Both of you look good. So I know guys don't do this, but who dressed you tonight? I uh, uh, dressed by me. All, all me. Both of you. I want to thank me. For being me. <laughs> yes. And um, Kenneth, who dressed you tonight? It's Anger Cinema. This is us. And now it's your paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody does this better than Anger. <laughs> yeah. I love, love, love that confidence. And of course, you guys have seen a lot of Kenyan films. So, 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 so. Um, what are you guys looking for tonight? What are you looking forward to seeing tonight? For me, uh, seeing the talent being awarded and the industry growing to this point that you're able to reach this far get movies into the cinemas and I appreciate them having making films that are made for cinemas I really appreciate that all right and you can eh? what was the question oh my god what are you looking forward to tonight who are you rooting for yeah well, you know we, we we are the home of local movies and we support all of them yeah, so <laughs> all the best to the to the winners. We can't really say we have the favorite. Yeah, yeah. But thank you so much, you gentlemen. Look amazing. I hope you guys have a good night, and I hope you enjoy the awards. Eh? Yeah, yeah. We have an amazing, um, you know, program for you guys. Also tell people to come and watch movies. Yes. Now, now, now. Please, I'm a Sema. I don't want to repeat, but. Please, would you please tell them? Please just echo it up one more time. I personally want to welcome you to Anger Cinemas. You are the best cinemas in Kenya. Yes, thank you so much. And from the Anger Cinemax crew, from myself to you, enjoy the night. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you too, gentlemen. And we are live one more time from the biggest film and TV award show in East Africa, in Africa, if I do say so myself. And with me is an amazing gentleman. He looks really nice. Eh? I, I like the gold. I like the gold. You're in theme. You're very much in theme. So I'd love to know your name. Yes, we do. I'd love to know your name and the institution you represent tonight. My name is Mike Strano. I'm co-founder of Yakwetu. We are a distributor of films. We have three nominees tonight. 
Oh, and please do tell us who are those nominees. Yeah, so in total we have 25 nominations for for our three films. So that is uh, Death Valley, which is a uh, animation. Then we have Where the River Divides, and then which is a short film, and Act of Love, which is another short film. So we're the distributors of those three films. Okay. And tonight, I know, um, do you have your acceptance speech ready? Uh, I'll be representing one of the nominees, and it's been sent to me, yes. So. Okay, you look amazing. I hope you enjoy the night. Who else are you rooting for tonight? Um, apart from our three, um, I don't know. I'm confident on the jury and confident of the fans of the films that the best films will win, yeah. Okay, thank you so much. I hope you have an amazing night. We have an amazing program for you. And welcome to the 13th Kalasha Film and TV Awards. Looking forward to it. Thank you for your time. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's, it's, it's full of excitement. It's an amazing name for the anxious over here. But with me is Michael Smalls, Munyoki, and Winx. I hope I said it right. I was, I was hoping, I was like, I hope I don't butcher your name. But you look amazing. And we're just talking about your styling. And you told me your stylist put something together. And this is, this is fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. Her name is Vivian. Thank you so much. She has a way of putting things together because I tell her, for me, comfort is key. I want to be comfortable. When the drums come, I will want to jump and <laughs> feel good. <laughs> yeah. I love that for you. I love that for you. Let me tell you something. Small, last night, let me, uh, small story, yeah? yeah? So, Small and I met last night. There was a party last night and we met. <laughs> and uh, when I was leaving, um, I, I took a video. So, because you featured in the Netflix film, Pakani, my, my, my brothers were actually watching it. So, Nika hey, 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 guess who I was with? Hey! They were like, watch out, watch out, Chezo. They were so excited to see you, and so am I. You look amazing today. And thank you, thank you so much. Uh, what I am mostly appreciate, just for, the, for being nominated, being here, being with you lovely, amazing creatives. For me, this is it. This is, this is our party, right here. And thank you, thank you. There's been so much love this time around for the films and the movie and the industry there's been so much love thank you we appreciate you so much and ah uh, yo yes that's about it for me man <laughs> let me say something um, this guy has a lot of nominations tonight and he's going to tell us a bit more about that i know he's anxious do you have your acceptance speech ready um to be honest i i do not mm. um I, man, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's kind of the thing where I've been, I mean, I'm in a very heavy group and I believe that each and every member of the person who has been nominated in my category is a heavyweight. So to be honest, I haven't prepared an acceptance speech. I pray I win, but yo, it's heavy. It's heavy, man. I'm, I'm just prayful. That's all, man. Wishing you nothing but the best tonight. We are rooting for you and everyone in that category. Now, Mix My Love, I want you to tell me um, your view of the industry from when it, from um, a few years back, from five years ago. What are the differences, what are the key differences that you have noted yourself as a filmmaker? Yo, we are making moves, truth be told. I know we have our own problems, our own struggles, but we are getting there. We are growing. Like, you cannot compare where we were five years ago and now so many platforms have come that are appreciating artists artists on alipoa you guys <laughs> let's send it all. for real for real let's stop crying a lot but platforms have come and every platform is there to impress so who is there to benefit it is the artist tunakatiwa they are impressing us you know <laughs> It's the one that is Tunakatiwa. Yeah, and who are you rooting for tonight? Oh my goodness, listen, I am um, butterflies like this. <laughs> butterflies like this. I've, I've also been nominated, by the way. Oh, shit. And all right, we're we'll live from KICC at the 13th Kalasha Film and TV Awards. With me is Farid, my co host, and Waziri, the CS for Youth Affairs, Creative Economy, and Sports. Yeah. Waziri Karibu Tena Sana. Santa Sana. Santa Sana. Amazing evening. Beautiful evening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can see you looking really nice. So allow me to just ask, as someone who's very interested in fashion, who's dressed you today? <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> I do want to know. You're not going to ask that question. I totally understand. Bonasi, yes, you've been yes. so instrumental mm. uh, and so vocal about the creative economy. Uh, it's so wonderful to see a, a breath of fresh air. How important are events like this and how important is it to drive the agenda of the creative economy for? First of all, let us admit that the creative economy is not, it's not just a low-hanging fruit. It's a fruit lying on the ground already. It just needs to be picked. 
the economic value, the potential that this, this holds. And, and I'm looking at the whole spectrum, the whole ecosystem, film, music, fashion, pageantry, theatre, the whole ecosystem of the, of the creative economy is immense. And really, you don't need to go far. Look at economies that have um, just sort of ignited that. Look at Nigeria on this continent, South Africa. A little further, you look at India, you look at Germany, the US. I mean, this is big, it's big. And if you, if you, if you don't see this, there must be something really wrong with you. And so for me, um, the Kalashas really, in so far as um, they optimize achievement and recognition uh, for the film industry, they really are a serious, a, an incredible platform for us to showcase what the creative economy is all about and what we can achieve together. Yeah. And Waziri, uh, you've traveled far and beyond, and I want to know, what's that one thing you want to commend the Kenya film industry for? <laughs> Kujituma. <laughs> the Kenya film industry really, I mean, given the challenges that you have to surmount to make it to the top in, 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 the, in the environment that our creatives have operated in previously, I mean, those who have made it to the top, the spirit of Kujituma, pushing yourselves, smashing the ceiling, and just saying impossible is nothing. Really, really, that is what I want to commend the Kenyan film industry for. And, and, and to assure them that now is a new dawn, we're putting in place every measure to give you that nudge you need to really hit the very top. Final yeah. Mm -hmm. You must have some favorites tonight. Are you going to tell us who you're nah. rooting for? Nah. Uh, they're all mine. <laughs> Thank you they're so all much. mine I'm rooting for. Yeah. All of them. I mean, it's such an incredible cast of uh, nominees. You look across the whole spectrum. I feel sorry for the judges. I don't, I don't, envy, the, I don't envy the judges but, 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 who have to make the call. You're, yeah. you're saying an incredible uh, cast of nominees. <clears throat> the improvement in the quality of production over Amazing. the course of the last, say, three to five years. Amazing. And oh, just to see where we can go next, how does it make you feel from where you sit in your docket? It, it just strengthens my belief. I mean, I have this very strong conviction that, this, that we are sitting on a diamond mine here. We are sitting on a diamond mine here. And this just strengthens my belief that we got to start mining like yesterday. Like yesterday. And so for me, it is growing in leaps and bounds. And those who can't see yet, this should open your eyes. Well, Ziri, it's an amazing night. This is the 13th Kalasha Film and TV Awards. I hope you have a good night. I hope you enjoy yourself. I promise we have something for you. Oh, thank you. Well, that was awesome. It was. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. I was like, hey. Uh, and that was some, some great work by the Burundian drummers who have now left us, but they were phenomenal as well. Yes. All right. So we're going to start off very soon. We're going to move inside very soon. That was an incredible opening to the 13th annual Kalasha Television and Film Awards. Uh, so I will see you inside. See you inside. Well, with me, I'm about to bring a surprising act. Oh. Yeah, you, you guys don't know. I know how you like to do the red carpet. Mm. I'll leave your side. I enjoy you the red carpet. There. This guy's looking really nice. Yeah. And um, I was talking to my photographer and he was telling me, I was asking him, how do you greet in Luo? And he didn't tell me. He's an uptown guy. So allow me to invite. Um, no, I've been told I need to hold this in okay. for the surprise performance. Okay, okay. So let me hold this in. And right about now, I think we're about to hand over to the people on stage. So over to you, 